Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here. So this morning I wake up and I'm thinking, as I always am, about what else can I do? The pain and suffering that was existing last night when I went to bed, I'm waking up this morning and that pain and suffering all across the country is still there. So what else can I say? What else can I do to cause an awakening? so that we the people can recognize that this is something we don't have to go through. And um, I went deep within, as I always suggest that you do, go deep within because there's something there. And I say that because I got the response just by searching inside. What can else? What else can I say? What haven't I said? Uh, what way can I say it? And the truth of it is just this, ladies and gentlemen. I can only speak from within me. I am, and that's good enough. And because I am, I am able. And I say these things to you. It is my understanding that human beings were created with the natural innate order of things. For instance, peace, prosperity, freedom, joy of life, fulfillment of dreams, your needs, our needs, your wants, our wants, your desires, our desires, all met, always there, available for our bet and call. That is built in. Every human being has that built in. Now, that would include, just for an example, survival. Every living thing requires certain things for survival. For human beings, they're all the same. We are made of the same stuff, the same systems. In fact, most living things have the same kinds of systems. And they have to be nourished. And to, for that, the resources available all over the earth, in the earth, above it, seen and unseen, for that particular purpose, so that we would never have to suffer for a lack of food or clothing or shelter. These things are absolutely necessary. Education, we know what education is for. Healthcare, we know exactly what it's for. And transportation and all of the other things that are a result of our imagination and we using the gifts that have been given to us. And this, my friends, is exactly why they were given to us. Different gifts. Some of them might be copies of uh, the same thing because we need all of us. God the creator of all of us, for us. And we have these gifts that would allow us to come on this earth and to participate in life with the gifts that we have been given. With these gifts, we exercise them. And in doing that, we get our greatest joy of living. Everything else just cream on the top. But while we're doing it, we're creating all of the things I just got through mentioning in such an abundance that no human being on the face of earth would have to suffer for anything. That's the way life is designed to be. That is when we are in line with truth. And what is the basic truth of all the stuff that we've ever heard? What is really the basic truth? The basic truth is this, ladies and gentlemen, is that there, all of the stuff that exists from its natural form is a result of a power that we cannot see. The earth that we live on, a power we cannot see. The body that we live in, a power that we cannot see. All things. So that for any mind would be the power of existence. So for any human being that recognizes anything other than that power that we can't see as a 
responsibility for their existence is a deceived individual. Is a deceived individual. And when you're deceived, you walk according to what these, what we have heard said, the knowledge of good and evil. In other words, we're not walking according to the faith of who we are. We're giving up. Now we're going with good and evil. And what do we do with good and evil? We take ourselves either to the pit of hell or we stay in a stagnant situation where each day we move toward hell slowly. What am I saying specifically? I'm saying this. This pain and suffering that we're going through is a result of us not listening and honoring God. Honoring God. God it's not, the plan is not complicated. It's not <clears throat> killing. We just don't know what it is. You've heard it said that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all the heart, the body, the soul, and the mind. But it basically means you should just acknowledge God as being God. And to acknowledge God as being God means what? That all that God has created is divine. And we, as human beings, are divine. And what is the second commandment? That we what? Love one another as we love ourselves. Look, <laughs> plain and simple. Plain and simple. Recognizing the power that we can't see. Because that power will hold us to the guns. The real guns. And loving everything that we can see. Nothing, no lie, no cheating, no anything except greed, greed for power. That's when the deception starts. That's when people start lying. And here in America, we have seen it with our own eyes. For a few years, we have seen it. We have seen murder brought to the forefront of innocent people by power. By power. In America, it just so happened to be white power. I'm not condemning white people because they're white. It's just in America, it just happened to be white power. In other parts of the country, or other parts of the world, wherever it is, the people that's there, it just happened to be them because they're there. That means everywhere people are, they are doing their own thing and ignoring God. And as a consequence, you got the hunger, you got, well, let me go back to what this lying stuff does. We saw lies, we heard lies, we saw, and everybody was acknowledging the lies. And then you see people who acknowledge the lies, falling in line, supporting the lies. Clear example, that's a clear example of how evil works. You get caught up in it, for one reason or another, and you choose evil. Why? Because you've got nothing else to keep you from choosing evil. People who choose evil don't know God. People who choose evil do not know God. They say, well, the churches was over there. But yes, they were there, but they did. They don't know God. No way they would have been there. They don't know God. But I don't want you to think that because I say they don't know God, that the churches that were not there I'm not saying they know God. No, they're just not as bad as these guys. They still got some belief. They got some faith. It's like good. You know, let's say the lying and, and all of the millions of people that follow the lie. Let's just say, for instance, that since most of their concerns is about causing pain and suffering to other people, that they don't care what happened to other people. They'll take away their voice and stuff like that. Like that. We'll just call that evil greater evil, okay? Now let's say the Democrats, right, who don't want to go that far. Let's say they are the good, they're the good ones, okay? Now look what you got. You got the good ones, which is the foundation for the evil one. Because if you just stand there, something got to give. And who wants to give what they don't know? This is the message that I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. The message that you don't know is that the, wow.
the systems that exist, they are expressions of a power that denies God. A power that denies God everywhere. Where God is, there ain't no pain and suffering. Where God is done and respected, that is not allowed. Wherever that stuff is allowed, it's because there's no God there. Now, when I was saying about um, good and evil, there's another one that's called the one that knows God. Now, the difference between people who believe in God and people who know God, people who believe in God, they heard of God, they read about God, they probably heard a lot of preaching about God, stuff like that. And so they say, well, that makes sense. And so they accept to a certain degree that that's what they believe. And since they believe that, there's a God. But it allows them to stay in a good position. One that knows God, that says, to whom much is given, much is required. These don't stay in no position like that. These stand up and speak out and, and try to get things to go. The killing part about it is this. <clears throat> I stand up in the name of God telling you all about heaven and, and, and on earth and paradise on earth and all you got to do is respect one another. <laughs> oh, it's such an easy thing. It's such an easy thing. And look what they got here. I'm talking, I'm rambling now because it's just so crazy. I was just thinking, look at all the books they got. All the books of all the laws and regulations and codes and blah, 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 blah. Ooh, look at all that stuff. <laughs> Trying to keep it in order. Ooh, they got the courts, they got the local, they got all of that. <laughs> Trying to pretend like they are smart as God. When life is so simple, so simple, true life, everybody, well, I'm not going to hold you. I want you to know that the pain and suffering that we go through every day, we all play a part in it. We can say we don't like it. We can say we hate it, disgusted by it, but we play a part in its existence every day. We don't do anything about it. We just give lip service. All of us who know we hate it, all we do is give lip service. And even when we on the streets protesting and stopping cars and stuff on the streets, all we really doing protesting, that too wears out because we take it. We take it. When we say we don't take it, we resist. We resist and the nation shuts down. There is no going on. There is no going on. And there's no war. There's no violence here. It's just a resistance. Nothing is going on until we deal with the stuff. And in dealing with the stuff from the perspective that I'm coming from, it means every human being, I said it earlier, Every human being, every adult, every grown person have a career of that choosing. Work. Engage yourself. You are in this life. Be a part of this life and be a part of it in such an exciting way that we can all feel your joy. Now, when you own stuff, you own, we own, the people own the world. The people own the world. No government own the world. No queen or God own the world. The people own the world. God has given them the resources and they have put their resources together in their mind and their compassion for one another and created heaven on earth. And to hell with Satan. To hell with those liars. To hell with those who want to divide us. To hell with those who say that some are better. To hell with those who say, look, in God's eye, in our eye, as long as one is a winner, we are all winners. And if one is a loser, we are all losers. And so our job is to make sure there ain't no losing here. Why? Because it ain't tolerated. So I think I'll stop there. You might get a little bit of what I'm trying to say. Anyway, <laughs> you know I'll be back a little bit later on. I can't help myself. Until then, Eddie Marcus saying goodbye.